this is where you want to make this is where you set up your hard drive configuration now this on the bottom right here these are two exact hard drives and um, I happen to have two terabyte hard drives three gigabit per second um, but they they, they kind of they're like the newer version of the three gigabit per second so they read faster than the old three gig, uh, three gigabit per second I do not know why but they're Western digital uh, green caviar and um, <clears throat> All you basically want to do, there's there's nothing you can set up in here yet, except for this right here. These three options are your kind of like a rate zero, rate one, and regular mode, which is, you know, nothing. Um, but if you happen to have, my motherboard has, and uh, whoever has a Sabertooth X58, has um, two ports for six gigabit per second. Honestly, if you're gonna go with OS X, I would highly suggest buy either two hard drives, two SSDs, per se, you know, 64 gigabytes, um, or 120, and then, you know, pairing up as RAID 0, and that will give you double the, the space. But you have to have two, right? Um, Mushkin, one of the best hard drives that I've been researching about, and it seems like it has the best reviews, and it doesn't die, it reached, like, super fast, and it really doesn't bottleneck your your uh, um, your SATA uh, controller unless you're actually like I don't know uh, copying and um, transferring files from one side to the other it really doesn't matter now um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have 32k um, configuration now because I'm gonna be doing um, 1080p uh, video configuration and video editing I'm sorry, I should have at least uh, 64K or 128K. Easy backup is just RAID 1, super speed, RAID 0. In our mode, there's nothing. And that's pretty much it, guys. So for now, we're set up on the on the BIOS. So what you want to do now is exit and save changes. Okay, okay guys, sorry for the hiccups. Um, I was uh, eating something and for some reason I got hiccups. Anyway, um, the next step after you do the BIOS, what you, excuse me, what you want to do is you want to make sure you pull the, um, if you happen to have um, our motherboards, Sabertooth, excuse me, X58, um, they have a triple channel, and unfortunately, um, for the installation, you cannot have uh, more than one gigabit stick whether it be four gigabytes whether it be you know just make sure you just leave only one and the the one that works it's all the way on the one all all the way to the left and i'll show you why <clears throat> well i can't really tell you why because i don't know but i'll, I'll show you how to take it off okay so i have a uh, like uh for sound excuse me sound dampening i have this um like uh like sound for absorbent but I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get a dynamite um, and install it inside to reduce the, the noise coming from the inside of my computer because I do video editing and audio editing and sometimes it gets kind of in my nerves. So this is pretty much my setup. I have the, um, let's see here, so, sorry, hold on. Um, so that right there is, uh, let's see here, I can give you a little bit more light because there's looks like there's not enough light in here um <clears throat> so that pretty much is my x uh h50 uh water cooled cpu core, core i7 so what you want to do is you want to make sure you pull there's one there's two and there's three you can barely see it if i can show you so there's that two and three you want to make sure you uh pull them off like so and uh, we you can put them in later after you do the installation and after you do all the setup like uh, you put your username and password and all that after you do that then you can put them back in for now we'll just we'll put them in here um in there and i'm gonna close this so i don't like to have it open anyway and uh yeah let's get to it <clears throat> And the computer will start up in a minute. <clears throat> and 
in so you're gonna see right here that it has see right here 32 kilobyte um, 3 gigabit per second and we can reset this if you want I'll reset it real quick so you guys can have a peek um, I think I can press the control I to initialize the RAID configuration um, but that will delete my super speed or whatever you know configuration and uh, I will only do this once guys hopefully control M okay so I actually did this okay so these are virtual disks it's basically the motherboard takes it into as if were they part of the motherboard like as if somehow like there's a technology or feature that's integrated into the motherboard and here are my two um, hard drives so you can see that they're you know almost two terabytes and uh, it's they're set up as um, marble 8 I'm sorry marble 8 uh, they're set up as uh, RAID 0 alright and um, so we're all set up and we can just go ahead and basically click uh, escape to return or you can click just control alt delete to restart your operating system to your computer And um, just to let you know, my setup is a motherboard Sabertooth X58 military hardware um, with a uh, ATI um, HD 5770. Now, once the CD starts, uh, this will come up. Just press enter for faster uh, load up. And uh, once, well, basically, all once you download from IAC, uh, from um, Pirate Bay, you basically burn it, or you can set it up in um, a um, what they call a boot drive, a USB boot drive. You can have it, but it's kind of difficult to do, so I'm, I'm, I didn't want to do it that way. Um, so I just did it via, <clears throat> excuse me, I just did it via CD. <clears throat> awesome so we are getting to the um, installation screen or the language installation screen <clears throat> um, will be uh... oh there we go so that's the uh, I at Co's um, L2 OS X Lion installation like I said you don't need to mod you don't need to write any any um, code for this motherboard especially because if you have an ATI card it's I think it's better uh, but I mean I've had Nvidia cards before they're good they they're great but you get you know uh, you get the best bang for your buck and uh, honest to say that um, Mac works a little bit better on ATI cards than it does on NVIDIA because on NVIDIA you have to mode I mean there are kecks for you know um, there are several NVIDIA cards but this will work like right out of the box in, in most cases um, I, I believe it's uh, like the 50 series 
the 5700 series and below and after the 67 series and up um 69 series and up you're gonna have to have uh, a special kex for uh the installation and all that all right so let's get to it so i'm gonna choose english for the moment you can choose whatever language you want all right so now what you want to do is you want to go into utilities before we even start with the continue button this utility and this is where it gets you know 